Alicia. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm kind of chilly in here. It's very cool in my room, but it's kind of hot outside. I have to go um, drop off a package for a customer for Fashi. So she's traveling tomorrow and I can't ship it out to her because she won't get it in time. Because overnight shipping, you get it the next day before 12. But she's leaving at 8 a.m. Now she lives in Atlanta. We agreed to meet somewhere. I'm about to do my hair, that's why I'm here. I want to do some finger waves today. This is my pixie wig right now. It's dry, it has no nothing in it, it's just there. I'm gonna attempt to do some finger waves, hopefully come on good because yeah. So my outfit today is very cute. My pictures here, so you see what the pictures look like. Somebody commented in one of my videos that she asked me to do my lip do a lip tutorial. <laughs> I don't really do much on my lips. All I did in that video specifically, line my lips with a brown lip liner. I went around like this. You can use any brown lip liner. Now, I usually use um, Glam Gloss by Sha, but her lip glosses are all glitter. Now, not every time I feel like wearing glitter gloss. So when I don't wear glitter gloss, I use this one. I don't know the name of it. It says Rose Hip Oil. It's from Broadway. You can get it at any hair store, any beauty supply store because that's where I got mine from. This is actually my favorite clay lip gloss. I just add some lip gloss. And then that's it. That's really all I did for the lip combo. Oh, my clientele is growing in Atlanta and I'm so happy because I've been trying so hard to like put myself out there because I don't really know anybody here so it's really hard to like basically start from scratch and build your clientele. Especially when you don't know anybody, you don't really go out to even meet people. But the fact that people are actually finding me is actually amazing. She followed me on Instagram. She shout out to me. Make a wig for her. No other man for my body. Finger waves are kind of tricky, you know. So I ordered some food. Mm, I so dizzy. I order food for myself. I don't order food for nobody though. I'm gonna have to do this off camera because uh, I didn't think this through. <laughs> Clearly, I did not think this through. And I need proper lighting, and right now my phone lighting is ass. Alright, you know what? Ooh, my food is on the way. <laughs> I'm gonna do this off camera and I'm gonna come back because I, because I can do it. I know I can do it. I've done it before. I'm, I'm gonna be back. What do you call in this? Finger waves. It's not as nice as the one I did with the red pixie wig because the red pixie wig was a little shorter. And I don't want to cut this one any shorter because I want to wear it like in its natural state. So, so my finger waves are not as wavy. <laughs> I ordered some food, right? from Wingstop and this is my second time ordering food from them and they get my order wrong first time I ordered from them ordered eight wings these people sent me six wings okay six wings I ordered eight I paid for eight and I get six two whole wings missing two whole wings so I think myself I'm gonna order again I seen a whole fries Boy. yeah open I have no money on this one. Let's go get your card. Yep. Great. <laughs> I do hide the drink because I didn't order food for them. And I felt bad because usually like if somebody order food, we order from everybody. But child right now, my, my funds is struggling. So I can't afford to buy for everybody. But I guess that's why I got punishment because I bought food myself only. And I paid big $20. Because I paid for the food and delivery, and the people forget my whole fries. I do have Black Friday sale coming for Belgium by Chloe and for Fashe. My Black Friday sale 
it's probably you know what my sale is gonna be like yet i'm waiting on my supplier because i give my sale prices based on my suppliers prices now always i want a pricey side yes i want my black friday sale to be like affordable so that everybody can get something at the same time i still want to be able to make a profit you understand i cannot put my prices extremely low so that everybody can get something and then i don't make no money off of it just a midwig right now the pixies are on sale yo you know guys sometimes this is random it is just random right i get a lot of people dming me and you know telling me like how much they look up to me and how i inspire them like to start their own business and how or like advice on like starting their businesses or advice on doing youtube or advice on just different stuff honestly i get a lot of messages of people just looking to me for advice or guidance which is really nice i appreciate that it's crazy because last night i was like i've been talking to myself right <laughs> So I was like having a conversation with myself. It's crazy that I guess I inspire people. People hold me to this high pedestal. Like they look at me like, oh, Chloe is cool. So maybe I want to be like Chloe. Or I see Chloe doing this and it makes me feel like if Chloe could do it, I could do it too. But I don't hold myself to that pedestal. Like I'm proud of myself for all the accomplishments that I have, you know, I have made and how far I've gotten in terms of certain stuff um but i still feel like it's not enough i still feel like i could do better i still feel like this is just a little bit of what i can do like i could do so much better even though people look up to me i guess see me as an inspiration i don't know if i see myself as that if that makes sense like sometimes i be like i feel discouraged sometimes and social media is a funny thing because we will when I say we, I include myself too, right? We put out there, we show our accomplishments, right? We show our progress, we show our goals, our milestones, our... Basically, we show the good, but we don't show the bad. And that's with a lot of people too. So I feel like kind of social media kind of creates this false perception of success in a sense and tends to make people compare themselves to others so maybe somebody who's looking at me from a distance might be comparing themselves to me and saying wow not now i have my online business and i can't get one little order and chloe just launched chloe already reached one key and chloe already getting all these orders and they're comparing their self to me saying but how come she doing that i can't do that or what is she doing that i'm not doing but little do you know i compare myself to other people as well and last night i was like Dad, to tell myself like stop comparing yourself to other people because at the end of the day i follow a lot of people on instagram like who have businesses like girl bosses i call them and they're very influential these girls get thousands of orders a day these girls make thousands of dollars a day and i always look at them and i'm like that's inspiration for me like i i cannot wait till the day where i reach that point you know like i ship not so many orders where i have to hire a big truck <laughs> to come and take the boxes or I have to make like six trips to the post office because i have so many boxes to ship out there's this one girl i follow on instagram she's 19 or 18 and that girl that she had so many orders that girl forget like 600 orders, 600 orders a day selling some weight gain syrup she just have so many orders to the point where sis has to hire a big truck like you not know, these big 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 trucks that are on the road to ship out her orders and she has to go to the back of the post office to drop them off because you have to put them in the big crates and then you drop them off like that that is inspiring to me like i can see myself reaching that point you know but at the same time like i said i was i was sitting there and i'm like why am i comparing myself to these other people this girl has like 120 something thousand followers on instagram which means that that's nothing for her to get 600 orders a day like that's the light book because she has so many people following her god alone knows when she first started like maybe she was probably getting two orders when she started but like throughout her progress and maybe this being this was probably like her second or third year of business she grew it's not an overnight process and i tell myself that like some days i go by and i don't get no orders honestly and truly i don't get orders every day but i try not to let, let that discourage me because everybody has to start somewhere and i feel like maybe you know it's not my time yet 
because god knows maybe i may not be able to handle getting 600 orders a day because that's a lot of orders but when i get my little batch of orders i feel proud of myself but at the same time you know you walk into the post office and you see somebody coming in for a whole carton of orders and you in on the line with your your four little orders and you're feeling some kind of way because it's like damn that person have a whole carton they have to be pushing the orders in because they have a whole carton of orders and i'm just here with free orders in my hand i'm learning that as well to stop comparing myself to people everybody has their time like just because you see me doing it now doesn't mean that your time won't come just because i see somebody else doing it that doesn't mean that my time won't come you understand at the end of the day everybody has to start somewhere so like i tell everybody who messaged me and asked me about business and advice and how to start and how to do this whatever be consistent and that's something i struggle with as well i tell them people do nothing you know i give you the advice but me taking that advice is a whole different story but once you believe in yourself that's a, that's all the motivation you need to achieve your goals and get to where you need to get i was feeling so good that day i went to the post office and dropped the, dropped the orders off i had so many packages to the point where they had to bring me in the back where all the big bosses that's be dropping off the packages because you know the big 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 businesses that have like hundreds of packages a day i had to go in the back there drop my packages off because i have so many packages and i was like it was just a good feeling seeing like you know my progress but just showing me like what is about to come or showing me and uh, just give me a little glimpse a little taste of the future like you know it's like you're a baby and they give you a little a little spoon of soup make you taste the soup to see what it's like but you can't really eat the whole soup yet because you don't have teeth you know you still you grow it when you when you get older i might give you a whole bowl of soup you can eat the dumpling the pumpkin you can eat the chicken you can eat the macaroni eat everything in the soup but right now you're a baby so they give you a little spoon of the sauce to give you a little taste of what's to come so that's how i feel i feel like god is giving me a little taste of what's to come because he knows that maybe right now i'm not ready for it but he's preparing me to show me that when the time comes sis you're gonna be in the back, okay? With the big bosses dropping off your packages in cartons. I say you can use somebody's inspiration because I have people that I look up to and they inspire me and motivate me to do better. But social media just can create that false like narrative in your head where you constantly compare yourself to other people and be like why not me you understand a lot of stuff on social media is fake and a lot of people don't show their struggles because when i was going to post up with my two little packages i would not be posting it and now that i have my 25 packages i'm posting i i feel proud of that you know i feel like that's an accomplishment for me a lot of these instagram models and stuff like that you won't see them on instagram without makeup you won't see them on instagram without wigs on the head or without the hair done like they will post the bomb message every day you see them post on instagram they post in their story they are lashes done they hair done they makeup done they body snatch they post themselves in the bathing suit obviously they have their wax well done in the bikini line well clean but they would not show themselves beforehand before they went to the best doctor to remove all the bumps on their skin and they show you like their bikini line with razor bumps like everybody else because most of us have razor bumps but these instagram models don't have razor bumps because they go to these doctors and these um dermatologists to make sure that their skin is kept clean to a t but we Reg the regular person the regular young lady would have the razor bumps and stuff because we can't afford to go to a doctor to get all these treatments remove razor bumps you will see they post on instagram they have a birkin bag right we don't know what they do to get the birkin bag so don't cut somebody with a birkin bag and be like oh i want a birkin bag and go and sell your soul to get a birkin bag we'll do your nose it's hard to go and suck four dicks to get a birkin bag you don't know what these people do for what they have the media is an illusion that's how I, how I can say it's an illusion people portray them portray themselves to be one way on social media and in real life they're different so i don't know why i felt like i had to say that but Th this is the word for the day amen this is the message that god told me to deliver okay so i'm delivering the message so i hope you you understand i don't need to hear this i needed to hear it last night i had to talk to I had to talk with myself we ourselves need to like have a wake-up call you know we need to look at things from a different point of view it's all about perspective sometimes too is it's how you look at it for example this right my juice my my juice is right here right i can look at it and say wow my juice is almost empty somewhere when i look at it and be like wow it your juice is half full right perception is how you look at it is point of view just like when me post my packages like my mother was like oh why are you posting that you're supposed to don't post these things whatever 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 when i look at it and be like things like you're showing off but person a might look at it like i'm showing off i doing the most or whatever or person b might look at it and be like wow chloe's doing so good that's motivating me to go harder for myself but well, you know i see her doing this and 
and they see it as inspiration to them so the kind of person that you are and the mindset that you have is going to let you know what side you on are you on the side that looks at it as a in a positive way or are you on a side that looks at it as a negative i try to share my progress as well because i want when i reach that point that i want to reach to in my business or in life in general for you all to say okay wow i saw chloe start from here and she literally climbed the ladder i saw when chloe was dropping one two three packages in the post office because i have posted me i have posted like three four packages already another time she had like eight packages another time she had like 25 packages now she's dropping off 300 packages in the post office a day so i want you all to be able to see okay all your all, all saw me start from here and go up to here like you all, you all literally see me climb the ladder it's not going to add some concealer to my part because my part not really showing <laughs> Is she? Anyways, this video was just random. <laughs> oh y'all! Christmas is coming up and I want to do Vlogmas. I've never done Vlogmas before. So basically Vlogmas is when you post every day until Christmas. I think like I really want to be able to do it and I want to be consistent. So basically like you just vlog throughout your entire day and yeah let me know what you want to see for vlogmas because all my vlogmas videos be lit like i want y'all to really see like what my life is like on a daily on a daily basis and like do some fun stuff like you can comment video ideas with me and my mother because i want to include her in the vlogmas as well so that's the end of my video thanks for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and Stop comparing yourself to other people. Um, nobody's perfect. Nobody's life is perfect. My life, my life is all over the place at some at times. You won't see the negative that goes on, but there are times where I cry. There are times where I have breakdowns. There are times where I feel discouraged. There are times where I feel like giving up. Um, but I want to post that. You know, I will post the the good old jolly happy times like everybody else. Uh, don't let people's social media persona make you feel like you have to compare yourself to them because nobody's perfect we all go through shit we all struggle with shit and we don't we don't all have our shit together okay no matter how good a person like looking you can look at sierra and russell and that sierra and russell have the best relationship but you don't know what this people went for behind closed doors you don't know if russell will see sierra ass every night but yes still we look up to them and we be like oh these are relationship goals so anytime so stop looking at people and comparing your life to them and wishing that you were like them or you had a life like them because you don't know what goes on behind closed doors because trust me my life is not all glitz and glam the packages and you think oh chloe making money but you don't know the struggle it is to actually put all these packages together and post it like go to the post office you don't know the struggle it is to actually get the products have a website and maintain a website have have two websites and maintain both websites on your own posting constantly on both well all free social media platforms like it's hard like it might look easy you might think oh that's not nothing go just not go just posting whatever whatever she just posting youtube videos she just posting things on instagram she just making wigs she just have to post orders i know it's a lot that goes on behind it and it's very hard so watching my video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all in my next video Army, when we stepping out the party, I wanna up up on a yardie.